Hey, this is Seth with Electrek, and today we're actually driving the new 2022 Chevy Bolt EUV. The car itself is very nice. It's it's a uh, it's not a prototype, but it's a uh, kind of like a developer build, um, you would say, in technology parlance. But um, feels great. Like uh, you know, I drove down to New Jersey, which is about an hour away from my house, uh, in my Tesla Model Three, and this thing's quieter inside it's a uh, the, the, the suspension's a little better so there's quite a lot to like about this thing um, obviously things like all-wheel drive and faster charging are on our list of things that we'd love to see in this this car but um, unfortunately Chevy made the decision I think to keep costs down I'm really looking forward to trying out the Super Cruise here. Um, I guess the freeways we've been on so far haven't been uh, Chevy blessed or GM blessed, um, which you need to have uh, for Super Cruise to work. Um, but we are seeing, a, you know, I did get the chance to use regular cruise control, and I've also felt a little bit of the lane assist, which, um, at, you know, as a three-year Chevy Bolt driver, um, I've already experienced, and you know, it's kind of the same thing. But really looking forward to the Super Cruise and uh, seeing what that has to offer. Um, also, you know, keep in mind this is a lower priced uh, EV, not nearly as expensive. Uh, you know, about ten thousand less than a Tesla or a VW uh, ID4 or a uh, Ford Mustang. GM did. I don't want to say cut some corners, but that's why you don't see all-wheel drive. That's why you don't see 150 kilowatt charging. Um, and you know, there's some other things. I, I do think they did a nice job with the interior. Um, they already had a pretty good operating system um, and they didn't do much to change that. Obviously it relies on CarPlay and Android Auto a little bit more than most systems. You basically uh, connect via wireless or via USB-C. That's pretty much your center stack OS. And as far as the uh, in front of the wheel stack um, you're pretty much in the same boat as you were with the uh, 2017 Chevy Bolt. GM definitely I don't want to say cut corners they just didn't do a lot of upgrades in, in some major areas like the powertrain is 66 kilowatts just like uh, 2019. Um, in fact uh, I don't even know if it's much different than the 2017 Bolt that we drove in at CES in 2016. So we're talking about five-year-old, you know, 200 uh, horsepower motor, um, you know, same uh, battery pack from LG, which, you know, the older ones are obviously having uh, a, uh, there was a fire issue and um, GM's hopefully gonna be able to resolve it in April with a uh, software update, but, you know, that's, that's not for sure. And, uh, you know, so there's just questions there, but overall, this is a great car. Like, uh, the fact that they could get it down around 30,000 and oh my gosh, if they can get that, uh, federal subsidy back, then it's like a $23,000 car, $24,000 car. And then in California, New York, New Jersey, Colorado, places, um, where there's a state incentive, you're talking, you know, under $20,000 for this car, it'd be crazy. So... You know, in that respect, um, GM did all the right things to get the price down. Like, I feel like a lot of people aren't going to be uh, sweating the 50 kilowatt um, road trip charging too badly. Um, you do have 260 miles basically every morning when you wake up. So on those days where you go over 260 miles, then you have to start thinking about fast charging. A 260 mile trip, that's a couple states away for a lot of people. Um, I don't see any problem going on a, on a relatively short trip as long as you know uh, that there's going to be charging at your destination or, you know, 50 kilowatts isn't that slow. Um, and what's kind of nice about the Bolt versus some other vehicles is you're, you're going to be at 55 or 54 kilowatts um, pretty much the whole, you know, like to 60 or 70% charge. Um, whereas like the 
Mustang, for instance, will start out at 150 kilowatts and pretty much like by 20% is already at 100 kilowatts and 50% they're already down to, you know, close to 50 kilowatts, which, you know, like it's a little bit superficial to, to say you can charge it at 150 kilowatts if you can only do it for the first uh, 20%. As far as the drive, it feels great. Um, the seats are improved over uh, my 2017 model. This is the EUV, so um, we're down a little bit lower, it feels like, um, driving position-wise. Um, the seats are great. Um, the interior is fine. But one thing I really like uh, is that GM took some feedback from their customers and made one-pedal driving something that you can just do by default. You just push a button and it stays on no matter how you turn it off and on, whatever, uh, you're always in one-pedal driving mode. And I think that would, that's a big improvement and a learning. Uh, so, you know, we're learning, GM is learning from its customers. We're just super cruising. I would say after about 15 minutes of this, um, it's actually like a little bit boring. Like uh, it was actually fun driving. Um, and you know, I'm used to Tesla's autopilot where you have to not only keep your hand on the wheel, but actually put a little force on it. If you don't put a little force on it, you get these constant reminders. Whereas this is all you have to do is keep your eyes on the road. And I have to say like, uh, this is a little bit easier. This is a little bit more, uh, you know, less taxing on the, uh, Brain. Um, this is kind of just like being a passenger, really. Like uh, it's it's like uh, driving uh, with a, a teenager almost. Where well, maybe even better. But uh, you know, um, obviously the big problem is that uh, GM hasn't mapped everywhere. This only works on interstates, really. It doesn't really work too well on um, parkways not necessarily, um, and back roads and country roads. It doesn't work there um, currently. But, you know, GM is obviously working on that. Cruise is gonna be a fully level five autonomous system at some point. So, uh, Super Cruise is fantastic. Uh, it's, I had it with the CT6 back in 2018, I think 2019. Um, it was solid back then, um, comparable to autopilot. In a lot of ways, in some ways, a lot better. Like, frankly, uh, not having to put your hands on the steering wheel is a is a, another tier of mental load to take off. Um, you're you're just watching the road like you would as a passenger. Uh, thank you uh, once again uh, for watching. This is Seth with Electrek, and this has been the Chevy Bolt EUV, and I guess this is my first drive.